Hey guys, welcome back to All in Law. Today we're going to talk about the functions of trace metals and what happens if there is a deficiency of our trace metals. We're going to discuss the important trace metals for our USML examination or any other medical board examination, guys. Okay? So just try to concentrate. This is will be a kind of a revision for you and definitely these points will help you to diagnose the diseases in what you call in your USML examination or in other medical board examination easily. So let's start and see. Okay, the ba most basic, basic metal is iron. So, so iron is, you know, the function, this is the essential component of hemoglobin and as well as there are so many, what you call it, metalloenzymes that they contain iron. So iron is required for these enzymes to act. So if the deficiency of this, what happens, the patient will develop anemia known as a hypochromic microcytic, means they become a small and they have a less chromic color, right? Anemia, right? What? What it, guys? Okay. Now let's talk about the zinc. Zinc. You know, these also, this is also an important trace metal and it's a very important component of the enzymes, especially the oxidase. Especially the oxidases, remember. And what happens when there is a deficiency of zinc oxide? Eh, sorry, zinc. When there is a deficiency of this zinc, it leads to what you call acrodermatitis enteropathica. Acro dermatitis. Enteropathic. Okay, very important. Is a this is really very important. Okay, they will have what you call a distinctive rash most often on over the around the eyes, nose, mouth, anus, and the, what you call distal parts. That's why it's called the acrodermatitis enteropathica. You just Google the images of enteropathica, what you call the, um, acrodermatitis enteropathica. If you look at the images, then you will remember for a longer time and you will be very perfect in diagnosing next time. Okay, guys. And the patient will have what you call anorexia. Growth retardation. Growth retardation. Infertility. Okay, right, very good. And they will have what you call impaired wound healing, hypogonadism with what you call a diminished reproductive capacity and altered immune function and impaired night vision related to what you call altered vit vitamin A metabolism and depressed mental functions. Okay, so these are the so, so many what you call complications or the, the symptoms that are due to the zinc deficiency, right, guys? So, zinc is an important uh, trace metal uh, that is required for the most of the enzymes especially the oxidases now let's talk about the another one is iodine iodine okay let's talk about the iodine iodine you know very well that iodine is the most important component of the thyroid hormones thyroid hormones okay thyroid hormones so what happens, you know very well the thyroid hormones, in a previous video we discussed about the synthesis and release of the thyroid hormone, and what are the steps in the synthesis and the release, okay. So here we're going to talk about um, what happens when there is a deficiency of iodine, you know very well it's going to be hypothyroidism, or uh, quite right. Quite right so let's talk about the another important is selenium selenium right so it's a component of what you call a glutathione peroxidase glutathione peroxidase okay what happens when there is a deficiency of a selenium remember Selenium, like vitamin E, protects against the oxidative damage of the membrane lipids. So deficiency of this, uh, what you call selenium, is also known as Cation disease in China. Okay, this is also known as Cation disease. Cation disease. Cation disease in China. Okay, right? 
they the, 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 the what you call the cha, the children affected with this uh, deficiency they present with a congestive cardiomyopathy okay mainly in the children and the young women remember okay right so what happens the other features of this is uh, they will have as i said they will have really the cardiomyopathy remember and uh, the enzyme which requires selenium is a glutathione peroxidase the function of a glutathione peroxidase is what you call impaired because of this deficiency right now let's talk about the another important trace element is a copper cu right copper so you know this is very really a very important component of enzymes so many enzymes like especially the cytochrome c oxidase cytochrome ox c oxidase then we have what you call dopamine beta hydroxylase beta hydroxylase tyrosinase tyrosinase okay then we have lysyl oxidase lysyl oxidase and some other enzymes in that involve in a cross linking cross linking keratins keratin okay so the copper is the most important component for required for what you call is, a, is, is, is for cytochrome c oxidase dopamine beta hydroxylase tyrosinase lysyl oxidase and and the enzymes that are involved in the cross-linking keratin. So what happens when there is a deficiency of a copper? You know very well the muscle weakness, it affects the neurological system, it causes neurological defects, hyperpigmentation, and abnormal what you call cross -link, collagen cross-linking because of the cross-linking keratins. Okay? So hyperpigmentation is really very important. In US early, if you see what you call a hyperpigmentation as a sign, and um, muscle weakness then think of what you call copper deficiency okay selenium what you call zinc two presents with uh, what you call the skin uh, changes like acrodermatitis enteropathica but it has a distinctive rash remember that's present over the eyes around the eyes mouth anus okay and distal parts right mm, so remember about this guys okay next let's move on to the another two important copper uh, sorry, metals, trace metals, there is manganese. Manganese is a very important component of metalloenzymes. 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 Including uh, two important, three important, I want to tell you. One is oxido reductase. hydrolases hydrolases and lipases okay hydrolases and lipases right guys so if there is a deficiency of manganese there is no well defined deficiency syndrome of this remember so rarely you're going to be correct to what you call in uh, diagnosing what you call the manganese deficiency in USMLE so try to don't try to think of manganese uh, maybe the cause for this syndrome what they have presented in USMLE because it has what really we call not well defined deficiency syndrome. Now we have a fluoride. The mechanism of this is unknown, remember, unknown, unknown. Okay. Right? And what happens when there is a fluoride deficiency? It causes dental caries. Okay, guys. So this is all about the what you call um, seven important uh, trace elements: iron, zinc, iodine selenium copper manganese and fluoride so i hope you got an idea i'm sure this video is going to help you for your uh, usmle or any other medical board examination preparation and guys please do subscribe and please do share our videos with your friends and please 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 share our videos thank you so much for watching this video take care